Tariana here. I'm here today to give you advice, give you descriptions, give you more understanding about all these crazy diets out here. Um, you got um, the keto diet, the vegan diet, the paleo diet, the Whole30 diet, just so many different diets and people claim that they do so much for them and you're probably lost in this whole jumbled up world of health. Well, I'm here to help you figure it out and maybe you can choose one that will best help you in your health situation right now or maybe you're just trying to get healthier and just decide what's best for you but anyway the first diet I'm going to talk about is the well-known the vegan diet the vegan diet everyone um, is very interested in the vegan diet and um, what it does for their bodies and what it means for their eating habits and basically, the vegan diet is a diet that eliminates all animal products from your diet. Um, that could be dairy, eggs, honey, meat, anything that involves an animal and is, in an, in, and is used in a product, like a, let's say a face cream or um, a food or anything that involves an animal, you eliminate that from your diet. Um, and the reason I said a product like a lotion or something because if you do use something that contains an animal in it it's still going into your body and affecting your body maybe animals are affecting your um, your diabetes or your acne and what I mean by animals I mean like chicken or like beef or um, just maybe it's best for you not to intake those those um, types of foods because they could be messing with uh, your hormones or anything in your body and I'm not a licensed doctor just so you know I'm not a licensed doctor I just know a little bit about health and I work around health all day anyway so let's keep going um, best uses for the vegan diet or that may um, help you with your issues maybe you have diabetes um, for acne for weight loss for um, lowering your blood sugar to improve your kidneys, um, certain cancers, just mainly just overall overall health. Uh, I've done the vegan diet before. It was very difficult for me at first, but um, with places like Whole Foods, Walmart, and um, Ralph's Bakers, any wherever you may live, um, the Kroger's brand, um, different areas are now trying to adjust and help people have more affordable. Uh, options for their dietary needs because some people can't eat um, the reason that I make these vegan choices and it's hard but I don't really necessarily follow a vegan lifestyle is because I try to avoid as much dairy as I can and if it says vegan I know that there's no dairy at all in it but I still eat eggs from time to time yes anyway diet number two the paleo diet now I really like the paleo diet but it is a very difficult diet to follow um, the paleo diet consists of going back to caveman days where you only eat meat, fruits and veggies, and nuts and seeds, and it can't be processed. So like making all your food yourself, um, I believe you can only eat um, coconut oil and olive oil. You can only cook with those oils, I believe. and um, or. I have to do my research or check me on that but I believe that you can still still cook with those 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 oils because of being plant-based um, but please please check me on that um, it, it's a good for an anti-inflammatory diet it can help you um, with your acne as well um, help you with weight loss because you're cutting a lot of the um, the processed food out and the the chemicals and the toxins that can build up in your body and cause you to have that unwanted belly fat or harvest a lot of fat and it's natural sugars so you can't have any processed sugars or any additives and natural is way better than added sugars because um, your body still does need sugar but you won't be taking as much in as you would with, with the added sugar product. Um, I have tried the paleo diet. I lost a lot of weight on the paleo diet and the vegan diet. I just, this, this eliminating everything that they told you that you were supposed to be eating when you were younger, it, it'll just make you a, a little stick. You'll just be, so you have to make sure that you are taking in protein as whatever you can get in no matter which diet you're on, you're taking in protein um, and you'll be successful. The best, the best way to follow the, the, the paleo diet, I believe, is just stay away from processed stuff. Stay away from um, processed stuff packaged up 
make your own food and that's so easy nowadays because everything will say paleo on it paleo uh, there's granola out there that's paleo there's nuts out there that's paleo it just make it so easy for you nowadays it's make it so easy so you know it shouldn't be that hard to follow a paleo diet but it can get difficult if you're not used to um, cooking your own food or um, following your own way of life that didn't make any sense anyway moving on <laughs> number three the whole 30 diet so the whole 30 diet is a diet that you follow for just 30 days it's supposed to eliminate um, let me read this note here the whole 30 diet is supposed to emphasize whole foods like good whole foods and um, eliminate sugar alcohol grains soy dairy and legumes which i believe is like a type of bean yes um this diet i love this diet because if you have any allergy issues or you feel like why am i why am i getting acne which i'm a sufferer a sufferer from is acne and inflammation and things in my body why am i bloating all the time why am i feeling sick why do, why does my head feel clog, clog cloudy um, that's another thing people say that they'll go on these diets and then it'll, they feel more clear-minded um, some people like they try to go off of dairy and they go to almond milk and then they find out they're allergic to almonds so this this diet is best for you to eat the cleanest that you can eat and um, find out for me it would be what what are you sensitive to what's making your body trigger what makes you gain weight the fastest what what for you is the best to continue a good lifestyle to keep you around as long as possible um whole 30 is really good for weight loss and like i said a sensitivity um a food intolerance an allergy test and those are two different things so look into that um if you want more information about food intolerance tests i've taken a food intolerance test with a hair follicle and it really helps me out and told me like what i was sensitive to and i eliminated that stuff from my diet and i've seen a big 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 difference it also um for a whole 30 you go gluten free i'm super big on going gluten free because i do believe that um wheat riley barley and rye wheat barley and rye can really um, increase inflammation in the body um, and if you're not eating it if you are eating it and you have inflammation um, I believe that it aggravates inflammation and I believe that if you've been eating it and you you begin to develop inflammation it's going to make it a lot worse so um, just be mindful of that the last diet I'm gonna talk about is the keto diet or better known as the ketogenic diet this diet is high protein low carbs and it's like one of the most popular diets out there right now super popular um, I believe you do um, high fat as well and it forces the body to burn fats and um, not as much as the carbohydrates so um, you're losing more body fat and getting leaner um, I believe a lot of like bodybuilders like love this diet who are trying to cut up for their their um, esp um, expositions expeditions expositions their little show that they do with their bodies um uh it's best with to be to be helpful with weight loss uh, diabetes and epilepsy those are the studies that they've shown and um, to help with alzheimer's disease and some cancers these are all studies though so just because you have this this illness does not mean that it will cure it it may help it though um, but that's why you try them to see if they work best for you. May, what works for you may not work for me and vice versa. Um, really good stuff on the keto diet. Um, low carb, less starchy vegetables like kale, broccoli, cauliflower, seafood, coconut oil, um, avocados, meat, eggs, cheese. You can eat cheese on the keto diet. Cheese. Just, I, don't, I haven't eaten cheese in years. I haven't eaten cheese. I don't. I don't do dairy. Like I've noticed a huge difference not doing dairy, especially if you have acne. Um, I believe that dairy is not good for you because it um, it builds up the hormones in your body and makes you secrete more oils, and that's not good for my skin, especially when you're already an oily person. So um, the keto diet is a diet I want to try next, but I will not be eating cheese. I will not be eating any type of dairy. Um, 
because you can eat yogurt on this as long as it's plain. And uh, I'm going to try to lower my berry intake because I don't try to do less sugar because I want to cut up these thighs. I want to um, hopefully get have clearer skin by the end of the year because I want to go on more modeling auditions. I want to... Um, I want to have my best foot forward. I want to do it for health. I want my body, I want people to look at me and be like, she's healthy. Not that she's beautiful, but she's healthy. She looks so good. She looks like she's reigning with health. She just looks so, look at the health on that girl. <laughs> the health on that girl. But yeah, so if you wait till the end of the video, I'm going to um, add some video clips and some snacks to help you figure out what you can eat on this diet, These all of these diets, and um, Hopefully, we can be in this together and document our progress together. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to do next or um, tell you more about how I know about a little bit about these things. But I wish you luck. We're going to get through this. And um, I hope you understand a little bit more about these diets after I explain them. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.